Hello and welcome to the Engage Brain Podcast. Well, thank you for coming in. Uh, well, we're here with three people, the most people uh, ever on uh, the podcast, uh, Amanda, Sarah, and Renee, uh, to talk about therapy and stress. Uh, so something, uh, we just got done meditating in class, uh, talking about uh, one form of therapy for stress. So. I might be a little bit out of it uh, at the beginning. Uh, hopefully, uh, you all aren't. Uh, but uh, why did you choose this topic uh, for uh, the research? Um, I chose this topic. I thought it'd be a good topic for us to do because um, there's just so many. Like from just from like researching a little bit, we've just found that there's so many different ways to cope or like with stress and like all that kind of stuff and. I don't know, I like, my favorite way that I found is like the therapy, just like talking through it with somebody seems to be really helpful, and like, through researching that seems to be like a common one that people like, they just kind of want somebody to talk to, Mm -hmm. or write it down, I've also seen that that helps a lot, I just find it interesting, because I'm very stressed, I'm a college student, (laughs) (laughs) so it's nice to like, learn about ways to deal with stress. Yeah, (laughs) definitely, I mean, sometimes you can feel like you're lost uh, out there, and um, even though we are college students, or I guess I'm not a college student, you're all college (laughs) students. And uh, you feel stressed. It's uh, you look at your friends on you know social media or other places, and they're doing fun things, and you're like, oh, well, am I the only one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I'm laying in bed watching Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah, Renee, do you have uh, any particular interests? Um. Yeah. Well, I've done one form of what we were researching is um, pet therapy. So mm-hmm. I've already done some research on that. I'd read a paper about it, and I've just been always interested in it because I love animals, mm-hmm. um, and I have personal experience with it. So. I just really wanted to dive more into it. So, and finding all the other ways, it's a fun to research and try them. Yeah. And Renee, are you stressed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I agree with them. Like, when we were talking about uh, meditations and we were like, well, we should go further into it, th- therapy was, like, a good one because basically having the guided therapy, like, our guided meditation, mm-hmm. having someone to help you through it, it's really helpful. Plus, with... I did the pet. I did pet therapy because I'm an animal, and I mm-hmm. like animals too. And, but um, like with my like, I have a lot of friends that like having all the issues. So therapy literally help people, a lot of people through like class, high school, yeah. college, and everything. So. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I think it's uh, great too, and it's nice to look at both like the professional and guided uh, mm-hmm. therapy, and some stuff that we can do on our own too, like the meditations. Although I don't quite quite find like you were saying, Renee, quite find the same kind of benefit from like using the stop think um meditate app yeah. versus like just having you all like up there in the presentation like telling us okay we're going to do this one and then listen to the woman lead us through calm.com was it mm-hmm. yeah calm. it was really cool because you can pick different sounds yeah um, and like different places to meditate definitely a lot yeah. of different places cool. yeah, yeah the the birds that were chirping definitely like brought me back to summertime uh and like out being out and about to like the particular types of birds that were chirping yeah mm-hmm. um, uh, and then other times like the babbling brook or whatever uh, that was like also made me think of kind of the ocean a little bit too yeah there's an mm-hmm. ocean one there's some just like instrumental music with like mm-hmm. just like there's a whole lot it, just, <laughs> it depends on like the type of person yeah, you your preference and then yeah like so if you like music most people like pick a music song yeah. with an instrumental and then like it'll calm them down yeah and so once they're already calm it's just gonna be so much more mm-hmm. with the guidance yeah uh, how about uh, turning to the research aspect? Has, has there been any interesting research findings that you've found so far? Um, I don't know. I mean, I have, I mean, it's not super interesting, but I found that people, like, will respond, like, really good to, t- like, talk therapy, like I mm-hmm. said. They'll respond really good to that, and they like that a lot. And, like, I don't know. You don't need to go to, like, a professional. Like, everybody mm-hmm. thinks, like, just talk with your friends, like, why you're stressed. Like, mm-hmm. I think that'll help. That helps too. So, and when you're talking with friends, you can kind of connect with them too. Mm-hmm. Like you might not what's going know what's going on in their life, and then you might be able to connect that way. But also, like if you're not willing to talk to someone else, it, like pet therapy, some people just talk to a dog, pet it. And yeah, they're good. <laughs> but. Yeah, it, it. Yeah, I feel the same about what they said. Um, we when I was looking up some research, it was like I don't know. It's really hard to find like exactly what you want to find, but. There's, you know, there's a lot of therapy, there's a lot of different types of therapy, so it's just hard to really narrow it down to just one. Yeah, yeah, and I think that a lot of people are oftentimes kept, 
are told to keep things on the inside. Uh, so maybe traditionally yeah. it's been men, but also you know different um, different groups of, of people where it's just like oh you have to deal with it on your own or you know like don't burden other people with your problems. But maybe we're starting to see like that keeping things inside uh, has led to a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. um, and so like mm -hmm. talking to pets or friends or professionals are ways to actually deal and work through those things rather than mm -hmm. just uh, ignore them and let them come out in you know, negative coping patterns. Uh, this morning I talked with um, Chum and uh, Nate about uh, how some people turn to alcohol as a kind of easy way to feel good in the moment, but then they're bringing up ways that maybe it doesn't um, help later. Uh, how about, has there been any confusing um, aspects of the topic? Um, not that I've found, no. Mm -hmm. It's not too... Pretty it's straight just kind of straightforward, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah I, I think it is too. Um, I think m maybe not confusing, but I, I think there's a stigma still towards um, talk therapy. Because mm -hmm. even in class, like I said, oh, you know, there's the counseling center. Mm -hmm. I haven't used the one here. Other people have said, yeah, there's the counseling center, but I haven't used it. I mm -hmm. think mm -hmm. Richie said that yesterday, um, talking about they were looking at emotion and, and um, stress, and uh, he, for his... Um, thing you wanted to promote was the counseling center even though he qualified it as I've never been there. <laughs> <laughs> so that I think that um, Breaking the Silence is a, a group on campus that's working to dispel mental health uh, issues as um, kind of something that's stigmatized on, on campus mm -hmm. uh, and it, I mean it is interesting to look at how we like encourage people to like yesterday we went to Hy-Vee to encourage p us to eat better and we w had the exercise to encourage people to exercise more. Uh, but then um, I guess y your group was the closest to uh, encouraging therapy. Um, yeah. But we didn't, like, have a counselor come in or anything like that. Yeah. So even I am maybe perhaps endorsing that, uh, ignoring that side of, of treatment. So we'll work on that. Um, and I'll definitely link it uh, on whatever page that this ends up on. Okay. Um, how about, uh, is there going forward any, like, one thing that you'd want anyone to know about uh, therapy and, and ways to deal with stress? Um, well, I mean, I guess, like, what bothers me about, like, talk therapy, which is, like, what I want to focus on, because, mm -hmm. like, I want to be a psychologist, mm -hmm. is that, like, oh, like, if you go to therapy, you must be crazy. Mm -hmm. So I kind of want to, like, have people know, like, no, like, it's okay. Like, yeah. if you just want to go to have somebody to talk to, like, that's totally fine. Like, you're not crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, um, yeah, I just kind of want people to know that, like, it's okay to go and get like help I guess from like a professional yeah so. yeah basically just let people know there's help like the negative stigma it's kind of changing a little bit now there's more places like to write love on her arms is a new organization that is kind of becoming more popular now so like um, trying to get people to reach out and so I think that would be a big thing um, to talk about mm -hmm. um, uh, I feel like uh, there's a lot of tragic things that happen like to different people, and I feel like because everyone's scared to like let everyone know, and because they don't want to break the silence, mm -hmm. they just it just like everybody keeps everything, and I feel like it brings out a lot of issues for people. Like some people like get really angry, it causes a lot of mental issues. So then most people have like mental issues just because they didn't talk. Mm -hmm. I have a friend, they, like, didn't talk, like, when they were kids. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't speak because they had, there was a tragedy thing that happened to them when they were younger. Yeah. And because of that, like, they've, they're, like, an outcast, basically, mm -hmm. and they're treated differently because yeah. of that. So I just feel like if they had a therapist or a counselor or somebody just to talk to, mm -hmm. it, it would have changed. Yeah. Even though it was just a friend. Yeah, and I think, Renee, you bring up a great point that thing, bad things happen to everyone, and so we need to kind of normalize the fact that these bad things happen and everyone goes through them, you know. We don't know somebody that's lived forever, so everyone's lost family members, uh, and, you know, that accidents have happened and, you know, different things, and so we all go through these hard times. There's no reason for us to, you know, like, feel like we're the only ones uh, going through them, and burdening other people. I think later this afternoon when we talk about social support, we'll learn about, you know, like, what it means to be able to reach out to other people and how helpful that is to all of us. And so not just our friends, but actual professionals who mm -hmm. are trained uh, as a mentor looking uh, towards 10, 12 years in the future when you're a... Yeah, uh, a while to go. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> clinical psychologist, a trained professional to help people with these problems. Uh, so I think uh, moving away from stress therapy, 
and, um, and coping with stress. Uh, is there anything the three of you have uh, that you'd like to promote? Uh, I th I'm making everyone come in right away. Uh, I'm going to try to get these out today, so it could be in the near future. It could be spring, summer, next fall. Um, like a place or like an organization? Place or thing or organization. Yeah. Um, I would, I don't know, just like, like to promote, I don't know, like I go, I go to therapy, like I mm -hmm. said, in class because of my car accident. And I mean, I go to medical associates mm -hmm. and like they do a really good job there. Yeah. So like I would definitely like encourage people to go mm -hmm. there, like if they're struggling with something. Yeah. But and there's also the counseling center here on campus. Yeah. If, if it just helps students counseling are listening center. to this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I guess basically just find your way that helps. Mm -hmm. Um, like for me, I like running and being outdoors, just kind of like hiking around and there's a lot of great places in Dubuque to do that. Mm -hmm. Um, so I guess that would be just kind of get out there and yeah. get what works for you. Yeah. So we can promote Swiss Valley, which we're going to tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Uh, we can promote Minds of Spain. Yep. We can promote the women's, <laughs> Loris women's, um, track field team. Can't think of any home meets coming up. Probably not till outdoors. Yeah. No. There's also the river yeah, walk no downtown. Meets, but there's the Buke meets for UD, so we yeah. can go yeah. to UD. It's really yeah. close. I guess we can go to UD. Yeah. It's, I don't want to promote them on the podcast. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's like our closest home meet for indoor. Yeah. 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 Oh, Renee, do you have uh, anything you'd like to promote? Um, I guess just talking to like a friend and then like just do stuff with some friends and like so you can just get it off your mind, basically. Mm -hmm. Let it like. Let them know what's happening, and then I get them to help you as much as they can, mm -hmm. and then like just let it go, basically. Perfect. The last one. Uh, I like uh, finding out new in information. That's why I became a teacher. Uh, so uh, I'm interested. Is there anything that uh, you have recommendations about that you've come across recently, or want mm -hmm. other people to try or know or experience? I have found recently that journaling, like just, mm -hmm. and I never have, I mean, when I was younger, like, yeah, I kept a diary, like, oh, so-and-so had the crush on me, <laughs> like, whatever. Yeah. But, like, you know, like, I don't really, like, journal now, but mm -hmm. I found that, like, it really helps. Like, just write down, like, what you're feeling or, mm -hmm. like, what, like, you're struggling with, like, that day. Yeah. Like, it's just, it helps. And that's, like, what other people have said, too, mm -hmm. through, like, just looking into it a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I would say uh, journaling helps a lot, but also like listening to music while you're journaling, that kind of gets both of both, best of both worlds. So. Do you have a music recommendation? Uh, I don't know. I, <laughs> it kind of differs on the day. Sometimes it's just instrumental, instrumental, and sometimes okay. it's with lyrics, but right. it just depends. No, no favorite band? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Same with her when it comes to music, and just, I don't know, just like... Doing something that realizes you, whatever realizes you, just do it because it's gonna help you. Yeah.